Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been working on the vocabulary words that you will find in chapter 3 of this book right here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. In addition to the vocabulary, if you need help in the math portion of the exam, you will find that we have already solved every single math problem that you will find in this book in our math series from day number 1 through 50. Just look for HESI Math, day 1, all the way up to 50 and you will find the solutions to all the problems as I said. In addition to that, if you feel that you need more help in math, you need more problems for practice, you will also find that the math that appears on the T is very comparable to what you will find on the HESI and there are 80 videos in that series. And of course, there is always the series of basic math, they go all the way up to day 200, you know how to go all the way up to 200, day 1 through 100, you may find some videos that might be of interest to you there as well. Let's get, let's get going. Today is our day number 24. Today is our day number 24, our penultimate day, our penultimate day of vocabulary. Tomorrow is going to be our last day. We learned the word penultimate, which is a very fancy way of saying, as you know, it's a very fancy way of saying second to the last. We learned the word penultimate on day number 11 of our vocabulary series, this vocabulary series here, of day number 1 through 75. Just type in vocabulary words day number 11, that's all you have to type in, vocabulary words day 11, or if you're preparing for whichever SE vocabulary words or T vocabulary, just put down the, day of the name of the exam, and the day, SE or GRE vocabulary words day 11, it will pop right up where we learn the word penultimate. Today is our penultimate day, second to the last day. Tomorrow is going to be day number 25, our last day of the vocabulary words. Hesse vocabulary words, that is. Number 130 is what we're going to start with. Very simple word, of course. Symmetry. Well, I'm not going to go through to explain to you what symmetry means. The reason we are putting this word on the blackboard is so that we can learn all the other parts of speech. Well, what is an adjective of it? The adjective would be symmetrical. Symmetry. Symmetrical, or sometimes people say symmetric. Symmetric and symmetrical, they are both equally acceptable. You can say that these two are symmetrical or these two are symmetric. Adverb, adverb would be symmetrically, symmetrically. What's the antonym? What's the antonym of symmetric? Antonym of symmetric is asymmetric or asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means they are not symmetrical. Asymmetric. Symmetric. Symmetrical. Symmetrically. Let's move on then. Of course, so as I said, the symmetry is a very simple word where, you know, you put two things that are look alike on either side and they match. I don't know how to articulate it, or I'm not going to bother putting the meaning, meaning on the blackboard. The uh, only reason we, put, we, uh, we are making a fuss about it so, is so that we are aware as to how to use the words as different parts of speech. Let's move on then to the next word. Number... 131. Number 131. Again, another simple word. Symptom. Symptom. 
which of course is an indication it's an indication or evidence or sign or sign of a problem or a disease or disorder. A symptom is a sign, is an indication, is an evidence of a problem that you may have, problem that you may face, a disease you may have, a disease you may suffer from, a disorder that you may have. The evidence of it, the sign of it, the indication of it is what is referred to as symptom. Let's learn other parts of speech. Shall we? What's the adjective of symptom? The adjective is symptomatic. Symptomatic. Simp. To. Mat. If. Symptomatic or symptomatical. Or symptomatical. They are both. They are both considered equally acceptable. Symptomatic or symptomatical. What's the adverb? Adverb would simply be. Symptomatically. Symptomatically. Symptomatic. Symptomatically. So one more time. Symptom. Symptomatic. Symptomatically. Let's learn the next word. 132. 132. The word is. Syndrome. Some people pronounce that as syndrome, syndrome, and some people pronounce it as syndrome. Syndrome or syndrome, they are considered both equally acceptable pronunciation, which is this is, symptom is just one sign, one one indication, one uh, one piece of evidence. Syndrome apparently is a is a group of symptoms so that together are characteristics of a specific Disorder or disease or condition. So, what's the difference between a symptom and syndrome? Syndrome is apparently, as I said, is a group of symptoms. So, it's not just one symptom. It's not just one piece of evidence. I don't just, I don't just have a runny nose. I have runny nose itchy eyes, my throat is hurting, I have a fever. Together put all of these four symptoms, all of these four symptoms put together are referred to as syndrome. It's a group of symptoms that put together, when you put them, when you have them together, they indicate a certain disease, disorder or a problem. Syndrome and symptom. Symptom is just one indication, syndrome is a group of indications. Let's move on. Next word, 133. 
therapeutic or therapeutical if you like or therapeutical they are both considered equally acceptable which means of or pertaining of of pertaining to treating or curing or curing of disease or disorder. So if you refer to something as therapeutic, that means it helps you. It helps you cure something, it helps you treat some disease or disorder. And of course the word can be used very loosely. Somebody somebody someone might say, well, I don't mind I don't mind going outside and, and racking the leaves. I find it therapeutic. I like I like the open air, I like the sun. It helps me reduce my stress. I find it therapeutic. Walking on the treadmill is therapeutic for some people because it reduces your stress, it relaxes your body in a, in a, in a different way. Therapeutic. Let's learn, let's learn a couple of synonyms of the word therapeutic on the top. The synonyms would be curative. If something is described as curative, is because it cures something, is curative, or rehabilitative, 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 if something is rehabilitative, something is described as curative, is because it is therapeutic, it helps you with certain problems. It may not eliminate it altogether, maybe it will alleviate it, maybe it will reduce it a little bit. Do you understand? If it reduces your stress, if it reduces certain pain, it's, uh, then it's therapeutic. Uh, swimming might be therapeutic or whatever it might be, sitting in a sauna, whatever it might be. It's therapeutic, it helps me with my pain. Let's learn the next word, 134. As I've told you on several different occasions, today is our 24th meeting. Today is our 24th meeting and as I've told you on several different occasions, I'm not a medical person. So these are just vocabulary words that we are learning. But I have no, no training in the medical field. So we do the best we can. Transdermal. Trans, with a Z sound in it, trans, dur, mo. Let's, let's dissect this first before we worry about the spelling, let's type, uh, before we worry about the meaning, let's dissect the word. Trans, and dermal. Trans means through, of course, to go through. And dermal means skin. So what does it mean when you describe something as transdermal, particularly when you speak of a medicine as, or, or as being transdermal? Transdermal simply means passing through the skin. Passing through the skin. When we talk of a medicine, when we talk of, talk of a medication, this is applied to skin, usually as part often uh, 
adhesive patch or absorption into the bloodstream. So it's a medicine that you apply usually in the form of a patch. You put it on your bur 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 whichever part of the body where it needs it. You put it on there and the medicine is absorbed through the bloodstream and that's how it works and such a medicine is called transdermal. Why is it called transdermal? Because it passes through the skin. Transdermal. The one example that comes to that readily comes to one's mind uh, are those uh, nicotine patches that you see the, the, the commercials all the time on the television. You put your nic that nicotine patch typically I think on the, on the, on the, on the uh, arm here. That's transdermal because you apply it on there, the patch and the nicotine through, uh, passes through the skin and goes in the bloodstream and hence reducing your urge uh, to smoke. And that such a medicine is called as we said transdermal. Let's do the last word today. We need the room. And the word is 135. Dermatology, as you can see, it ends in a o, o, l o g y l o g. It's a study of something. It's a study of study of skin and its diseases. The person who studies this diseases of skin is called well actually uh, he, he is called something else uh, this is a branch of science that uh, that branch in, is called dermatology and the person who studies it is called a dermatologist a dermatologist just like a biologist a zoologist a dermatologist. Dermatologist is one who studies skin, the diseases of the skin, the problems that one may have with the skin. That was the last word we have for today. Tomorrow is going to be our very last, very last day, day number 25, where we'll finish up this list that we started of all the words that you will find. Right now we are on page number, therapeutic was 133, and that was on page number it's the very last word that you will find in the very first, very last column, of, uh, very last word you will find in the first column of day number, of, of page number 53. We are on page number 53. Tomorrow we'll take care of the words that you will find in the second column on page 53. And like I said, that will be the very last day. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.